What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video. We are back with some more Madden 23 rebuilds and today we're going to be rebuilding the Minnesota Vikings. Before we get into today's video, make sure you guys drop a like at this one, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Of course, comment down below the next team you guys want to see. So I've seen a couple people tell me they'd rather see auto-generated draft classes than me using the actual draft classes in real life. So let me know down in the comment section below if you would rather see me do the randomness that is the auto general draft classes or do you want to still see me import uh the actual draft classes you know that bengals created or someone else so let me know in the comment section below and going forward that's what we'll do but for today i am going to go ahead and try out the random uh draft classes that way it's a little bit more different and we'll see how it goes so if we take a look at the vikings lineup as we know right now kirk cousins is the quarterback they have justin jefferson Dalvin Cook, Adam Thielen, KJ Osborne. They just traded for Jalen Rager as well, but I don't think he's even on the team right now. Uh, so we could maybe make that trade real, uh, real quick. And then the offensive line isn't too bad. Looking for a big year out of Irv Smith, the tight end spot. They lost Kyle Rudolph. And then Alexander Madison backing up Dalvin Cook. Defensively, on the other hand, you got Zadarius Smith, Lewis Seen, who I think they got in the draft, Eric Kendricks, Daniel Hunter, Andrew Booth, also another addition, Harrison Phillips, David, Dalvin Tomlinson. So this Vikings team isn't bad whatsoever. It's actually a decent team. Now, I will say the team is aging a little bit. So the window of opportunity is closing a little bit, I would say. So it is time to buckle down and get something done. Of course, you do have Justin Jefferson for the future, which is automatically a huge W because that man's an absolute stud. Um, but for this first season, like I said, I guess we can go ahead and try to pull off a Jalen Rager trade real quick. I'm just curious to see what that would even look like right now if we even tried to get him. Maybe the Eagles cut him and it doesn't matter. But if we go to the Eagles, I don't even know what the conversation was in real life. If I remember, I honestly don't remember. But hopefully it doesn't cost us too much to try to get him. So he's a 74 overall. If we get offers for Jalen Rager, what would they want? They want a fifth round pick. Maybe that's what the offer was. I don't remember. I'm going to go ahead and make it happen since he is, of course, a Viking in real life now. So... I'm going to cut whatever player I need to, and we're going to simulate season number one, Jalen Rager on the roster now. So let's go ahead and get into this first season. I really don't know what to expect. I'm hoping for a good year and hoping to be in the playoffs, but uh, I'm also probably looking to replace Kirk Cousins in this video, but we'll see if I have to or not based off this first season. We'll see if he's good or not. So after the end of season number one, we finished four and 13 and we're absolutely atrocious on the season. So not a good look whatsoever. Obviously a team looking to make the playoffs does absolutely terrible. Offense was 24th in the NFL. Defensively, we were 26. So both sides of the ball were absolutely terrible. Kirk didn't even have bad of, have that bad of a year. Um, so we were just bad, simply just bad. So, I mean, there's really not much you can do about that. We're just going to have to see what our options are to get better and see who's a free agent, see what we got to do. Because I want to keep the window open. I don't want to just go full on rebuild mode or I'll be here forever. So let's get straight into the offseason and start to look at what our options are. Because first season, 4-13, and 13, not where you want to see your team at if you're a Vikings fan. Like, we're better than this, I would definitely think. If you're a Vikings fan, you definitely think you have a playoff uh, chance this year for sure. Uh, maybe you still think you're a Super Bowl contender. Who knows? Let's go to the resigning stage, though. And let's get started. So I have no idea who we're going to need to get to resign and what else is going to be needed to happen this offseason for us to be back in the potential of being a playoff team year after year. We have Dalvin Thomas as a free agent, Madison. Uh, so honestly, looking at this, okay, so I do want to get Garrett Bradbury back, I think. And I do want Irv Smith back. So we could probably keep our cap room open. Uh, I didn't offer too much on Bradbury and he wants to test free agency. Fair enough. Irv Smith Jr., uh, the tight ends market, I mean, might have Dawson Knox out there, but I'd rather just keep Irv Smith. And again, he's going to test free agency. So, so far, I've struck out. And those are the two guys I wanted back. And if they do leave, I guess it's not the biggest deal in the world. We have twenty or $50 million in cash space. Tomlinson, I'm going to move on from as well. So, going to free agency, we're going to lose a few starters, but we're going to go with $50 million in cash space with the potential of even freeing up even more. So if we take a look at what we have right now, as far as salaries are concerned, because maybe Kirk Cousins is still on a large salary. I believe he is. Savings wise, we could cut Kirk and free up 30 million right now, or we could trade him. He's gone down to a 75 overall. So honestly, I think I would love to move on from Kirk Cousins here. Kendricks has one year left of his contract. Maybe another guy we could trade away if we want to do that. Zaria Smith uh, has got two years left to get Dalvin Cook, which I don't want to move on from him. He's a 96 overall. O'Neal. Neil Hunter, and then you guys like CJ Ham. So I think I'm looking at Kirk Cousins, and I'm also looking at Kendricks here as two guys that I honestly might look to trade. They got two year or one year left on their contract. Uh, Daniel Hunter, same thing, only has one year left. And then you got 
a couple other guys that I definitely wouldn't mind resigning, but they got one year as well. Justin Jefferson gonna have to extend him soon. So we're gonna go ahead and I think either cut Kirk or trade him. And then same thing with maybe Eric Kendricks as well, just because he's 89 overall. We could capitalize his value right now. So let's go ahead and use this trade finder on both these guys and see what's gonna pop up for Kirk Cousins to start things off because I just don't really want him here anymore. Let's see if I can get anything for him. So get offers for Kirk Cousins. You get Khalil Herbert from the Bears. You got a defensive tackle from the Patriots. And then you get... So yeah, I kind of like this Patriots trade. Now, why would the Patriots do this? I don't know. Not my problem. I'm making that trade happen. So we get a defensive tackle from New England Patriots. And we free up a lot of money. So that solves an issue uh, for both of us. So let's take a look at what we did. So I guess the Patriots don't believe in Mac Jones. And they wanted Kirk Cousins. That gives our quarterback position a huge gaping hole and then we get a i believe this is a young defensive tackle he's 28 years old so not really young but i guess he just it gave us defensive tackle i thought he'd be star development but that's okay kellen mon also is not on the vikings anymore they cut him uh madden has not uh gave out their updated rosters yet i'm assuming they're waiting till next week uh, but the other guy kendrick has superstar x factor do i keep him for this last season or do i trade him that is a good question i'm gonna go ahead and see what a trade would look like if i did offer him up so we have some good off okay immediately there's already some good offers here so we have jalen johnson in a third round pick we have dj reader third and a fourth Sutton, and they got marquise brown grover stewart william jackson man there's some great offers here xavier mckinney john franklin meyer shaq thompson hunter i'm almost overwhelmed with the amount of offers i'm getting jalen petrie okay for eric kendricks i can definitely walk away very nicely here i'm kind of like the franklin myers deal Xavier McKinney, uh, we don't really need him, but I also kind of like the idea of getting uh, Jalen Johnson in a third. I know we definitely need corners. I don't know why the Bears do this again, but you know what? It's not my problem. I'm going to go ahead and get the young cornerback in Jalen Johnson in a third and be super happy with that. And now we have $80 million in cap space to spin to potentially bring in a quarterback, uh, some offensive linemen, and then I want to get Irv Smith back and then the other guy I was trying to get back. Uh, but now we need middle linebackers as well since we just traded away Eric Kendricks. And then we got Jalen Johnson to add to this cornerback room, which I definitely think we needed to do very badly. So I'm okay with that. We're going to go in. And then I guess uh, Zedaria Smith, I think, just went down development trade. But going to free agency, let's sign five free agents. I'm happy those two trades we just made. Let's keep it going. All right, so I have five offers here in free agency on Tremaine Edmonds, Eric McCoy. I also have an offer on Baker Mayfield. I would love Baker here to be my quarterback. If we do not get him, it's not going to hurt my feelings. We got Irv Smith. I'm trying to bring back in Chris Barnes. So let's go ahead and see if I can get all of these guys. Do we get all of them? We get, we get McCoy and Chris Barnes, so not a bad start. Tremaine Edmonds still has interest in me. Baker is getting... Okay, so Irv Smith, we're getting leapfrogged a little bit. I want Irv Smith back very badly. So if I could get him back, that would make my day. So Tremaine Edmonds, still number one offer. And then, okay, so if I don't get Baker, like I said, it's not going to absolutely hurt my feelings. And we do, okay, we're still in the running. And then we do not get uh, Tremaine, Tremaine Edmonds, which is okay. It's not the biggest deal in the world. McCoy, Irv Smith, Chris Barnes. So those are three signings. And then Baker, uh, the Eagles are trying to get Baker, which you know what? If you want Baker Mayfield... Give me Jalen Hurts. If you want to go ahead and move on from Jalen Hurts, give me give me him. I want Jalen Hurts then. If you want to go for Baker, if you don't believe in Jalen Hurts, I will take him off your hands. I, I, I do not mind at all. So you guys are offering on Baker Mayfield. Give me Jalen Hurts. Now, I will say, I don't want to trade too much to get him, but I'll give you a second next year. Next year's draft, what do you say? Okay, it's probably going to be really, really tough to trade for Jalen Hurts, I imagine. So maybe we should just go after Baker. Round two this year, that moves it up a little bit. I don't want to trade like everything in the world. I guess we keep our first. And do we trade our second next year? And this is for Jalen? I don't know. I don't know. I think it's too steep of a price to get for Jalen Hurts. I, I just can't do it. Let's just keep going, man. Let's just see. I mean, we could just draft a quarterback at pick number two as well. Or get Baker Mayfield and are happy. I don't know. Let's see. So... If I don't get him, like I said, it does not hurt my feelings. I don't think we're going to get him, though. Uh, so it looks like he's going to become a New York Giant or maybe a Philadelphia Eagle, or he signs with me, and that's great. But I think there's going to be my only offer. So we're going to have our first, our second, and our third in this draft, and then have the ability to potentially get even better in the draft uh, with a random draft class. And then let me just make sure Baker didn't sign with me before I go ahead and draft a quarterback. Pretty sure he did not. Maybe he's still out there. We did get Eric McCoy, which I loved that addition. Kept Irv Smith. Jalen Rager might play some slot this year. Kellen Mond, like I said, not even on the team in real life, so don't really want to start him. 
Uh, we definitely could use a right end as well and then a middle linebacker. So you should probably get that in the draft. So Phillips should be fine for at least this year and then a right end. So middle linebacker, right end, maybe even a guard wouldn't hurt. And then obviously quarterback is a kind of big thing. But maybe we should sign one of those in free agency. That way we kind of eliminate the have to get all that in one draft. So let's see if we still have some of that maybe available here. So first thing was a guard, which we have David Edwards. None of these really intrigue me all that much. Right guard, we have nobody not really looking to get any of those guys so yeah guard is gonna have to be maybe in the draft in a linebacker we got drew tranquil blake martinez eh, none of those really excite me all that much so i'm good on that and then the other one was a end on either side so left end you got jadavion Clowney, smoot larry and joby which would be a solid addition and then right end you got marcus davenport yannick dante fowler Dirk barnett Again, I guess that just really isn't here. So maybe I waited a little too long. Maybe I could trade for one still on draft night. Who knows? But I was going to head to the draft and uh, we'll see if we can draft our quarterback of the future, I guess, in this random draft class and then whatever else we can find. So hopefully we find what we need. We have the second overall pick. Of course, I'm trying to probably use this on a quarterback, but if there isn't a quarterback here to take, then maybe we don't get our quarterback here. <laughs> then I have no idea what I'm going to do at the quarterback position, though. So hopefully there is a QB here. Because if we don't get our quarterback, then that is not good at all. So we got Chris Woodley going off the board. I know for sure who I'd be taking if I was using the actual draft classes, but I'm not. And it's looking not good right now, boys. It doesn't look like there's a good quarterback available for us to take. How far down the board do we have to go? So this is not a quarterback draft class, which I should probably be trading my pick for a quarterback then, shouldn't I? Like, I don't think I'd take this pick. Like, yes, I could get one of these guys, but... I think my best opportunity to get a QB is to trade this pick for a QB. I, I don't really see how we draft somebody and then go in next year with a guy that's not even supposed to be on a roster and Kellen Mond. So yeah, I think we definitely got to trade uh, this for a QB. So we're getting some offers. I guess we get a first next year. I guess this gives us ammunition to maybe make a trade later on and we move down in the draft. Maybe make a trade for a quarterback. We can move down to five. We move down to 19 and get a first round next year. They got 14, they got eight, and then, okay, so I'm really liking this Titans offer. We get two first round picks, a third. I think that gives me ammunition to maybe make a trade and we still keep a first round pick. So I'm going to make this trade with the Titans, and then I'm going to go ahead and go try to trade for a quarterback with some of that ammunition I just got. So let's see if I can pull that off. Okay, so I am trading for Jalen Hurts. The Eagles went ahead and signed Baker Mayfield. So I'm getting Jalen Hurts. I'm trading that first round pick I just got and that third rounder I guess just got. So basically... I went ahead and got a first round pick in this draft and I get Jalen Hurts to be my quarterback going forward. So hopefully we can develop Jalen Hurts into star development. But now we get to make our selection here and we're kind of looking for those other positions that we said we needed. So we do need a guard, which we can move, maybe move him to uh, tackle. And then we got uh, Adul Blake. We really don't need like a uh, cup. We don't need a guy that goes after the QB. We need more of a coverage middle linebacker. Uh, so it definitely sucks and not know what I'm getting myself into here, but I guess that's the randomness that we do get in these draft classes. But I'm looking at Demarius Durant here out of Michigan, maybe moving him to guard to get my offensive line as best as possible for Jalen Hurts is the best thing to do here. So we do ahead, uh, go ahead and get a hen development, a offensive lineman. So I'm feeling good about that first selection. And now we can go to round two and see if we can get that here as well. So offensive lineman taken care of. Now we need to take a look at maybe some other things. So Dennis Boone at free safety, right in Tim Kemp out of Stanford. Uh, we definitely need a end. So I'm kind of liking the idea of this. He's got B power moves, a tackle. He looks pretty decent. So I'm going to go ahead and take him here. He is normal development. Super unfortunate. Would have loved to hit development there, but that's okay. Next to round three. I think we have two round threes, which is kind of nice. So that should definitely help us out here a little bit. So now I'm still looking for that middle linebacker. We got Matthew Morris. We got Josh Rutherford out of Memphis, who maybe I take here because I do need somebody at the middle linebacker spot. His tackling is not great. His coverage looks like it actually be kind of decent in the zone. So Josh Rutherford here is going to be hidden development. So we got a hidden development middle linebacker to put next to Chris Barnes after trading Kendricks. Then we got one last pick to make here at number 19, which we will in fact be taking. Let's see. We got Matthew Morris, which I guess he's following me this far. Do I just go ahead and take him here? Or do I... Let's see. How good does he look? He must be... Oh, he looks terrible. No wonder why he's following. Um, What else we got? David Griffith on the board. We got Greg Wilford. Um, I guess we can go David Griffith, maybe. He looks pretty bad, though, as well. I don't know who to take. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and take maybe Raekwon Eubanks. 
He doesn't look the greatest. D catching, though. I don't know who to take. Round three, number 19. Uh, Josh Van Buren. Maybe look at him. I'm just going to take Josh Van Buren. That's whatever. So I'm going to end it there. That is going to be our draft. And you know what? Overall, this offseason was okay. Nothing to write home about. But hopefully, it can turn Jalen Hurts into a star development quarterback again. So this is what our lineup's looking like going into season number two. Jalen Hurts is the quarterback. Like I said, I'm hoping for a good year out of him and he could have star development by the end of the season. That's kind of what I'm banking on at this point because there really wasn't a quarterback to draft. Got Dalvin Cook, Justin Jefferson, Jalen Rager. You got Adam Thielen, Irv Smith, Brian O'Neill, the guy we drafted, moved him to right guard. He went up to a 75. Eric McCoy, Cleveland, and Christian Derrissaw. And then defensively, you have Josh Rutherford, Zadarius Smith, Chris Barnes, Daniel Hunter, Harrison Smith. Uh, Dansler as well, which he's the corner. Then Lewis Seen. You got Kemp here we drafted. You got uh, who we got from the Patriots. And then Phillip. So not really sure what to expect this year. Both schemes are not a bad fit whatsoever. Hopefully year number two goes a lot better than year number one. We'll see what happens. And hopefully, like I said, Jalen Hurts gets star development by the end of the year. Because that's kind of what we're banking on right now. If he does not, not sure what I'm going to do. So whatever happened this year, it looks like a good sign as we went 10 and seven and made the playoffs. So that must mean Jalen Hurts had a great season, which I'm feeling good about after trading for him. The Eagles gave up on him. We took a chance on him and I'm hoping this man accomplished our development. So offense was 11th in the NFL, which is fantastic to see. Defensively, on the other hand, we were 27. So defense, not so good. Jalen Hurts, 32 and 12. And he is normal development for now, but maybe that develops once we get done in the playoffs. Rushing-wise, Dalvin Cook, 15 touchdowns, 1,200 yards. Justin Jefferson had a good year with. And then Osborne and Adam Thielen. So that was fantastic. Defensively, we were bad still, which sucks to see. But 10 from Zedary Smith, 8 from Hunter, 2.5 from Kemp as a rookie. And then 2 from uh, uh, two sacks from Brian, and he got 2 from Phillips. 2 from da Davon, and he got 1.5 from Chris Barnes. One. And as far as interceptions are concerned, we had 5 from Jalen Johnson. So... Glad we were able to get him from the Bears. Three from Andrew Booth and two from Chris Barnes and two from Harrison Smith. So a lot of veterans in this final playoff push that we kind of have here. That's why you got one last hurrah. I mean, that could be on Harrison Smith. That could be on a number of players. So let's jump into our first playoff game going up against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I honestly have nothing to lose here. I honestly had a feeling we weren't going to make the playoffs and we've done. We've, we've actually made it. So I'm happy about that. Lest we can come out here and maybe upset the Bucks here. I have no idea who they're starting at quarterback right now. But if we could beat them, that'd be fantastic. But so far, Jalen Hurts' second playoff chance is not looking great. But maybe we could tie it up here and we do just that. So it's a tie ball game. They're going to go up 21-14. We could have responded there, but Jalen Hurts falls short. All right. Not looking good. We might end up losing here. 21-31. And it is not looking great. So yeah, I think it is safe to say we have probably lost this game. But... I'm happy we even got to this point, to be honest with you. So it definitely sucks losing round one. But after trading for Jalen Hurts, I'm glad that we even made it this far. So I'll be happy a little bit, but we still got work to do. So funny enough, the team we actually lost to was the Buccaneers. And they were starting Taylor Heineke at quarterback. And they went on to win the Super Bowl. So I guess shout out to the Buccaneers for that. Taylor Heineke gets the job done for them. I wish he could do that in Washington, but... Whatever, we got uh, an 87 overall offense and we have a $153 million in cap space. So we should be able to reinvent this team this offseason with that amount of money. Jalen Hurts is still normal development, but I'm still confident in him. Adam Thielen might be gone for the future. That actually sucks. Dalvin Cook has gone down in development, which is not great to see. I know he was superstar X Factor, but I still do want to keep him around. Defensively, on the other hand, uh, you know, still got some work to do. Harrison Smith is gone, so we're going to be spending money and free agency for sure. But I don't know who all needs to be resigned and who's important here. So we have Justin Jefferson, 100,000%. And then, oh, Jalen Hurst is a free agent. Cleveland is a free agent. Dantzler is a free agent. Okay. Quite a bit of players to resign here. Of course, we're going to start off with Jay Jettas. And uh, not liking the idea of keeping him, but, or the, my chances of keeping him. But I'm going to go ahead and give him an offer he can't refuse. That way we keep him around. Daniel Hunter actually wants to come back. I'm more than willing to have him come back to us. He's back, so we'll keep Daniel Hunter around. And then Jalen Johnson, almost same thing. I really want Jalen Johnson back for this team going forward. And he is going to test free agency. Uh, if I franchise tag him, it cost me $25 million. Jalen Hurts has no interest in signing with me. It almost seems like I have to offer a player friendly to get Jalen Hurts back. Um, six year. I'll boost this up to a $10 million bonus if that's what it takes to keep Jalen Hurts around. He had a good year under us, and he is back. So Jalen Hurts is back. That's huge. Cleveland, another guy I want to keep around. So, 
Urza Cleveland. I don't know if he had interest in resigning with me, but once again, I will boost up his bonus like crazy. And he does not want to play for me any, uh, regardless of what I just tried to do. And then Dantzler, again, no interest, player friendly. I'll offer it and he's going to test free agency. So $75 million in cap space we're walking away with. We're going to lose Jalen Johnson, Urza Cleveland, Dantzler. So we got some making up to do, but going into free agency, we're able to keep Jalen Hurts and Neil Hunter. But we have a lot of money, so we should be able to reinvent this roster. $75 million definitely gives me the ability to sign some guys and push us back to the overall we just were. So, need a left guard, need a wide receiver, need a couple wide receivers, to be honest with you. And then defensively, uh, could definitely use a little bit of work over here as well. So, definitely got some work, our work cut out for us, but... I'm confident we're going to come away nicely one way or another. So I have five offers here in free agency on Trayvon Diggs, Marquise Brown, Kyle Duggar, Ed Oliver, and LaVisca Chanel. Ed Oliver just always seems to be there for me, man. I know I get him a lot, but bro, there's no better defensive tackle and I definitely need one. So let's see if we can get these guys on our rosters. We got Trayvon Diggs still out here. We did sign Duggar. We signed Ed Oliver. We signed LaVisca Chanel. So we got those guys. Uh, Marquise Brown is getting a really good offer from uh, the Ravens. So I'll go ahead and let him go back to Baltimore. So next wide receiver is something we still kind of needed. So we got T Higgins out here as well. If T Higgins doesn't offer, I'll have him join LaVisca Chenault and Justin Jefferson. Like sign me up for that. I'm definitely down for that. T Higgins has no other offers. So um, let's see if we get T Higgins and Jay Jettas. So far, not having the luck I'm looking for. And... We do get uh, Trayvon Diggs, which is fantastic. But now we have uh, the Jets coming in and trying to swoop T. Higgins. So I'm going to try my best to up my offer a little bit. And let's see if that gives me T. Higgins to add to this Vikings core that we already have. So feeling good. If we can get T. Higgins here on day two, that would be fantastic. And then our wide receiver core will be absolutely where we need it to be. And Jalen Hurts has plenty of weapons around him. So did we get T. Higgins is the question. Let's take a look and see if we did get him. And we did not. So that sucks. Okay. Uh, as far as our guard depth, we knew we lost somebody. Still looking for maybe another wide receiver. But we got Ed Oliver. We got Kim. We got Trayvon Diggs to add to the corner room, which I still... And we got Kyle Duggar as well. But I still want to go ahead and add another corner. And I still want to add a uh, wide receiver. So $34 million still to work with. So let's go ahead and see if we can get another good corner out here. We got Joe Burrow out here, which I could sign Joe Burrow. But is he interested in signing with me? He is. But I would... Uh, you know, we just gave Jalen Hurts an extension. Kenny Moore wants to sign with me, and he has no offers right now. Sign me up. Give me Kenny Moore all day. Kenny Moore and Trayvon Diggs is the best corners I could ask for right now. And the other thing was wide receiver, which T. Higgins, is he still here? No, he's gone. Brandon Ayuk has one offer, and Gabriel Davis has no offers. Give me Gabriel Davis. I will be fine with that. So let's see if we get those two guys who have no offers right now. So Kenny Moore and Gabriel Davis. If we can finish off free agency with these two coming in, that would be fantastic, and we do just that. Davis and Kenny Moore. So we have Kenny Moore and Trayvon Diggs opposite of each other. That is a beautiful offseason. Exactly what the doctor ordered. So now the weapons for Jalen Hurts is absolutely there. I think I still want to try to get a guard potentially. And then we still have the draft. We still have the draft on top of this. Uh, middle linebacker went and hurt to get another one. Harrison Phillips is fine. Kenny Moore, Andrew Booth. But I'm feeling good about how that free agency just went for us. That is absolutely beautiful. Feeling great. So I don't even want to worry about signing anyone else. I'm just going to go straight to the draft. And let's just draft really nicely. And then this team should be back in the playoffs. Disappointed that Jalen Hurts doesn't have star development. But that's okay. Uh, as far as draft, pick, uh, draft picks are concerned, I don't know where we sit at in the draft. Let's take a look. So we have 22. Only have a first, second, and third. So we'll be drafting three players out of this roster. And then we'll feel good. So... Let's get into the draft. We just made the playoffs, but we're looking to go even further this time. So let's even get like a really good guard out of the draft potentially, because that was one thing we definitely needed. Maybe a middle linebacker is still here as well. Leonard Bradshaw goes to Washington. We got a running back. We got a linebacker, got a wide receiver, got a corner. I don't think I need corners. I mean, you could always add corners though. Delonte Yankee out of Texas A&M, round one projection. Uh, you know what? We'll throw him on the offensive line and that's just going to be a replacement to who we lost. I think that was Urza Cleveland or whatever we lost. So let's go to round two, pick 22 and see what we got here as far as uh, getting maybe another guy on the defense. Another wide receiver. You got a tight end. You got wide receiver. You got wide receiver. I mean, so many offensive options, but I do want to take a look at Marquise Lasley here. Um, he looks terrible. So no, thank you. Um, do we draft another wide receiver? Do we just go ahead and do it? Jeremy... 
Jamie Byers out of Florida. Sure. Take actually had F catching, but you know what? He's in development. So got him development wide receiver and Jamie here uh, for Jalen Hurst to work with. And then maybe we take a running back to back up Dalvin Cook. There's been a couple of good running backs on the board, but we'll see what's available to us here. That middle linebacker is still here. Strong safety. Uh, Kendall Thomas. I mean, we're not taking another wide receiver. Uh, Eric Morales. So you got a, another uh, strong safety. Eric Morales out of West Virginia. He actually looks pretty good. I'll take him. Normal development. But you know what? I'm feeling overall very good about how this offseason just went to wrap things up. So just made the playoffs year number two with Jalen Hurts. So year number three, we just upped everything we needed. The weapons are here. The corners are here. We got to go make the playoffs in year number three and be extremely good, hopefully. So lineup going into this next season, you got Jalen Hurst, Dalvin Cook, LaVisco Chanel, Justin Jefferson, Gabriel Davis, Irv Smith, Brian O'Neill, Yankee, Eric McCoy, Durant, Derisaw. Absolute beautiful offense defensively. Zadarius Lewis seen. You got Brian. You got Rutherford, Chris Barnes. You got Daniel Hunter, Kyle Duggar, Kenny Moore, Trayvon Diggs, Andrew Booth. Of course, over reliable and Ed Oliver and then Harrison Phillips. And we also got a uh, depth hidden development defensive tackle on top of that. So I'm feeling very, very good right now. That is our lineup. Let's go make the postseason. Season number three comes to an end and we finished off the season 13 and four where exactly we wanted to be. So we went, what was it? 10 and seven last year, 11 and six last year. I can't remember, but 13 and four. And now we get home field advantage and win the NFC North, which is beautiful. So take a look at the stats and awards for this year. Offensively, 30 in the NFL. Jalen Hurts has been amazing. Defensively, on the other hand, 14 to the NFL. So defenses finally was actually decent. Uh, they got Jalen Hurts as bridge quarterback. That's the player tag he's got right now. Still normal development, which is unfortunate. I feel like Jalen Hurts should automatically have start development, but whatever. Dalvin Cook, 1,400 yards, 15 touchdowns. Receiving-wise, Justin Jefferson. LaVisca Chenault had a great season with uh, Jalen Hurts. And then 1,000 from Gabriel Davis almost as well. Defensively, sacks-wise, you had 11 from Darius Smith, 9.5 from Daniel Hunter, 9.5 from Matt Oliver, 4.5 from Tim Kemp, 3.5 from Chris Barnes, and 3.5 from Harrison Phillips interceptions. He had four from Trayvon Diggs, three from Kenny Moore and three from Kyle Duggar. So without further ado, let's go win a Super Bowl, man. We got to win against 49ers round one. They went eight and nine. This should be a game. We automatically win and move on to the next round. Hopefully anyway, here we go at us bank stadium, such a beautiful stadium. Kevin O'Connell. He's here to redeem himself after last year's playoff debacle. And we're up seven to zero to start things off with the 49ers quickly to respond. Our defense is an absolute dominant. So we definitely have to realize we're going to have to score some, uh, some points here. 21, 17, get an interception and it is going to be a lead for them. So, so far this is a back and forth game, which is not the shootout. I wanted to be in. Honestly, I would rather be in the lead like crazy here, but so far we're hanging on in the fourth quarter. And, uh, as long as we can score here, this would be a great sign. Okay. Get an interception. Another Okay, there we go. So we do beat them 24-31. Uh, Closer game than I wanted it to be, but our defense is middle of the pack. Offense is elite. So as long as the defense can just do as much as they possibly can, I trust in my offense to move us on. So we do move on to round two and beat the 49ers. Let's go. And now we get the Seattle Seahawks. But once again, we're at US Bank Stadium. I can't even imagine who's starting at quarterback for them, but hopefully come out here and beat them. They probably had cast space to sign an elite quarterback. Uh, not sure who that is. So we're just going to come out here and hope for the best, man. We're going to be moving on to the NFC Championship, hopefully, after this. 7-0. to zero. Great start to the game. We also get a stop interception from Trayvon Diggs. We got Diggs and Kenny Moore guarding DK Metcalf. So I feel pretty confident with the idea of... Well, you know, Trayvon Diggs gives up more yards than, uh, you know, a lot of us like to admit. But he is still a decent corner. But so far, so good. 24-3. Another interception from Diggs, which is why we acquired him in the first place. And so far, this is looking great. They get a touchdown, but it does not matter because I think we've ran away with this game. Jalen Hurts is going to lead us to the NFC Championship. So the Eagles gave up on him, but you know what? I was more than happy to bring him in. I believe that's Matt Rule, and we just beat the Seattle Seahawks. So feeling good about that. Who was starting at QB? It was Cody Carr. Jalen Hurts drops three touchdowns. Hopefully get the Eagles in the NFC Championship. How amazing would that be? I doubt they're here, though, because they gave up on Jalen Hurts. So here we go in the NFC Championship. We get to play the Washington Commanders, who went 8-9 and nine on the season. I have no idea who's starting at quarterback for them. Maybe they'll tell it. It's Carson Wentz still. Okay. As much as I want Carson Wentz to be an absolute stud in real life, and Madden, he is not that. So let's not lose to Carson Wentz. Although it is very cool to see Jalen Hurts versus Carson Wentz here in the NFC Championship. 3-7. to seven. Uh, but like I said, they went eight and nine. They're on the lead on us though right now. So please do something hurts. There we go. 
They get a field goal, go score again, Jalen Hurts, and he does not. They're up 20 to 14. Yo, please do not lose to this team. Please go, please go get a touchdown, Jalen Hurts. Please, bro. Please, I'm begging you to do something. 21 28. They're going to kick a field goal. Go score. All right, get a stop, get a stop. There we go. I just need a stop. And they're on the, we're on the two yard line, which isn't the greatest position to be in. But I'm going to come out here and lead this drive the way we need it to be. So. Let's go ahead and just have a good drive. That's a nice gaping hole to start things off to give me a little bit of space. We will take that first drive. Dalvin Cook's had a good game uh, rushing wise. So I'm going to go ahead and run the football with him one last time. Just kidding. I'm not going to even have time unless I can hike it right here. And it's not letting me hike it. Okay. Two minute warning. All we need to do is go down the field and score a touchdown. That should be easy enough. I mean, we have Jay Jefferson. We have Justin. We have Dalvin Cook. Like, there's really not much more you could want. We have Gabriel Davis, LaVisca Chenault. The weapons are here. I just got to make sure I don't throw anything stupid. Of course, uh, Jalen Hurts or Dalvin Cook was stuck on his route. I was looking at Dalvin Cook, but we find LaVisca Chenault instead, which is fine. We'll go ahead and go to him, I guess. All right. I'm going to look for Jay Jettas here and see if we can find him. Or I run the football, and that's going to be a nice gain to Justin Jefferson. Might even had a deeper route to go to. I wasn't really paying attention. I'm going to go Dalvin Cook here, though. Throw them off their feet a little bit. That's a nice stop by them. We have all three timeouts, which is good. But now I really want to start targeting Justin Jefferson deep downfield. I feel like I should be able to just throw it up to him and he comes down with it. That's usually how it works, right? He is going to be one-on-one -on -one coverage. I'm going to give him a chance. And that is going to be money all day. So Justin Jefferson... I don't even know who is guarding him there, but I don't think they have a chance of ever stopping that man. We get the lead we want. We get interception, and that is going to be the ball game. So that is what we needed. We beat the commanders. Justin Jefferson gets us the touchdown we need. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We're on to the Super Bowl. And now it is Super Bowl time going up against the Kansas City Chiefs. So Jalen Hurst versus Patrick Mahomes to win a Super Bowl Lombardi trophy. At AT&T Stadium, we are going to go up 7-0 to start things off. So that's a fantastic start, but we turn it over and the Chiefs take a uh, tie ball game here. And they're going to go up 14-7. Are we going to just ultimately disappoint in the Super Bowl? Uh, no, we're going to take the lead. 14-17, they take it back. Okay, um, we need to take it back. We kick a field goal, 28-20. We're still in it. Tie it up. Fourth quarter time. Chiefs get a field goal. Jalen Hurts, can you go down there and score a touchdown? He does. 31-35, we get the ball back. And we take the lead, but they are going to tie it up with 43 seconds left. You already know what I have to come out here and do again. Justin Jefferson time. I'm literally just going to throw it up to Justin. Well, it looks like they're going to have someone actually. Uh, are they going to double cover Justin Jefferson? That would be smart if they did. And it looks like they're going to. So I'm going to go to Dalvin Cook. And you know what? I'm actually okay with that being incomplete. That was not a first pass. Good first pass. Good first pass whatsoever if your boy can speak. But I'm feeling confident about... Just finding Justin Jefferson eventually. So let's go to standard pass. I'm going to go to tight end attack. Either I go Je Justin Jefferson, which looks like they're bringing the safety up. So it looks like this might be one-on-one -on -one coverage with Justin Jefferson. So I'm going to give it a chance. And that might be, yeah, that was a little off target. So I'm going to need a little bit better of a football thrown Justin Je or for Jalen Hurts. And then we should get a first down. Or I find Irv Smith here. Either way, um, it looks like I might have Irv Smith for the first down. So I'm just going to take the first down. Although I think Jefferson would have burnt his man eventually. We're going to call our first timeout and we're down to the 50. So good start. Had to do it on third down, but I'm going back to the same play. It works each and every time. And we're going to see if we can find Jay Jettas again. And if not, Irv Smith underneath, take it and we'll get the first down. So let's see, see what we got. Just Jefferson one-on-one -on -one coverage. I'm going to give him a chance. And that is going to be the touchdown we need. It's too easy, man. It's just there every time. We're going to get the touchdown. And that is going to be the ball game. We have won the Super Bowl with the Minnesota Vikings. I'm going to end it there, boys. Jalen Hurts is a Super Bowl champion in Minnesota. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is Crushables. I'm saying peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click here to watch another video that I know you'll love.